Airport.com. Free credit report offer applies with enrollment in Triple Advantage. A new book about Bill and Hillary Clinton is hitting the shelves, and already their supporters are describing it as a conservative, conservative hit job. The book is called The Clinton Crack-Up, written by a longtime critic of both Bill and Hillary. It claims to tell the story of Bill Clinton's unhappy lifestyle, his emotional distress, and his dubious foreign contacts. Joining me now, Allison Kasich from the Conservative Independent Women's Forum and Democratic strategist Morris Reed. Thanks to you both for being with us. Uh, Allison. Thanks, uh, I'll start with you, Allison, if I could. Do you think this is a fair critique of Hillary Clinton, or to use her words that she's revived lately, uh, more of that right-wing conspiracy? Well, I think this is more of a critique on Bill, and I think that's where conservatives um, have to be careful in this. You know, Hillary Clinton has a record of her own, and there's plenty to criticize there, so there's really no need to be going after Bill, um, at least right, not right now. You know, uh, that's a good point you bring up, Allison. Morris, let me ask you about this, because uh, given the ratings and the polls that we're seeing about Hillary Clinton's likability factor, which we'll get into in a second, but could this perhaps have uh, the opposite effect that this author would like it to, to project? It's interesting, an interesting way of looking at it. It could, it could actually uh, endear her with some of the women that find her to have such a hard edge. So it could backfire on them. But this is all, you know, most of this book, from what I've understood, is the old news, really rehashing and hearsay. So we'll see how far it goes. But this could have a, a backfiring effect. Allison, is this old news? Is this a rehash? Um, from what I can tell with the book, and I haven't, um, I haven't read it yet, but based on reports, it seems like it, um, not a whole lot of new information. Um, a lot of sort of the same old, you know, scandals that we're already familiar with. But I do think it's important that you know, let's focus on Hillary because there's a lot to critique there. You know, she has a lot of problems, including likability, electability. And so, you know, there's plenty to focus on. All right, let's let's look at that. And, and Morris, I'd like you to uh, bring up your Democratic strategist hat here and look at this uh, mm -hmm. sort of strategically. Uh, we talk about likability, and there's a new poll out. Actually, I think it's a Zogby poll. Yeah, people who were asked who would they they would never vote for. Hillary Clinton had the highest negatives of any Democrat. Forty-six percent said they would never vote for her. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, you know, I know the campaign has known about some of these numbers early on. They've thought about it. But what do you do about it now, especially since it's out there? Well, this is a challenge, and this is not anything that they're polling information that uh, has, hasn't said to them as well. And she's been two, through two races in New York where I'm sure they saw this. This is a woman that's going to outwork everyone. If you look at the way she took her uh, position up in New York and did on a listening tour and really turned the tide, if you even hear people in the Senate talk about how great she is to work with from being a, from being a show horse to a workhorse, this is a woman who understands that she's got some challenges to overcome, and I think she's up to the task. It'll be interesting to see how she's able to uh, refute this. All right. And with this book coming out, Allison, I mean, this is a lot of jabs at the, at the Clinton couple. Um, you're from the Conservative Independent Women's Forum. What is your view of Hillary Clinton as a candidate right now? I, I think the, the biggest mistake our side can make is to underestimate the Clintons. You know, they certainly have the, um, the you know, they're, they're smart, they're calculating, they have the political machinery and the money behind them. So we, we have to, you know, take Hillary serious as a contender. And right now she is the front runner. But, you know, as we've said, you know, she, she does face uh, many challenges. They're significant challenges. And, I mean, right now she's looking forward to the general. I mean, she might have quite the primary battle on her hands. So, uh, you know, it's, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. It's really going to get fascinating, though. Uh, I look forward yeah, to covering Yeah, but the one thing that's great about Hillary, though, she's helpful to the Republicans, too. She's like this big boogeyman that rings up the cash register for Allison and her folks. So she's the gift that keeps on giving to both sides. Ka-ching! Morris Allison Kasich. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Two volunteer